Now let's take a look at the architecture of the iOS platform. So first off, iOS is based off of Mac OS X. It's actually built on top of it, built from parts of it. So it's very, fam very familiar and very similar in its underlying framework on how it works as the Mac OS X. The development language that iOS is built in is Objective C and C. So at the lower levels, we have a C base, and then Objective C classes tend to wrap the C layers. This is very similar to the Win32 API on, on a Windows system being wrapped by either MFC or .NET. So very similar idea here that the Objective C makes it a little bit easier to work with but it is something different than, than working in .NET or Java is that you're going to have to use Objective-C or C to develop unless you do something like Mono, Mono Touch, or, or something like that. But at, natively, Objective-C and C are supported. It's not open source. Unlike Android, you don't have the source code. So you can't see some of the inner workings of how things work, and some of it is a mystery. So. Let's look at the diagram here of the layers that comprise of the iOS architecture. At the topmost layer is the Cocoa Touch layer, and that's the layer that mostly your applications are going to interact with. Then right below that is this media layer, which has a lot of the media services like audio and video, things of that nature. Since it's so core to the OS, it's actually right up above the, the touch layer. And then you have the core services below that, which is another layer that's mainly providing services that are being used by the upper layers. And then there's a few things here, like location services and whatnot, that, that you are going to access directly. And then the core OS layer below that, which has a lot of the Mac OS components of it, the low-level operating system type of things. And so one thing to keep in mind here with the iOS architecture, that's a little bit different than some of the other architectures you might have worked on that have this layered type of architecture, is that your applications are actually going to interact with more than just the topmost layer. Now, for the most part, you're going to use the Cocoa Touch layer for a large majority of what you're doing but you will touch down into the lower layers with your app. That's why I didn't draw a, another layer on top of this with just your applications, because it's not true that you're just gonna be touching the Cocoa Touch layer. So let's go ahead and look at some of these a little bit more in depth. So first the Cocoa Touch, as I said before, it's, it's primarily what your application is gonna be using. It's primarily Objective-C, which is good because that makes it a little bit easier to use. It's based off of the Mac OS X uh, Cocoa API. It's actually Cocoa Touch and Cocoa are very similar. And the touch aspect has really just been added to Cocoa and a few things have been taken away. So if you're familiar with Cocoa, then you'd be familiar with Cocoa Touch. And then the framework that are in this layer are things like the UI kit, which is, this is really where a majority of your development will be in. And it has all the UI elements, the buttons, it handles the lifecycle management, the address book UI. This is just a UI for just basically doing address books, editing and adding. Event kit UI, it's just calendars. The game kit framework has some stuff like the game center, and it has some uh, this neat little P2P networking part of it that isn't just for games. Some apps are able to use this, so you might want to keep that in mind if you're developing some app that might be able to utilize this. It's under the game kit framework. IAD is Apple's advertising platform. The map kit is some map APIs. It's basically Google Maps where you can do a lot of things with that, like putting pins on a map, drawing different locations and doing it like a GPS type of application. And then the message UI, it handles both email and SMS messages. SMS was added recently. And this one, we're going to go into depth a little bit more on this Cocoa Touch layer, but as I go through the rest of the layers, I'm not going to go so far in, in depth because there's a lot of frameworks in there. In fact, uh, so we look at the media framework, you can see we already have a, have a list of frameworks and it's not even a complete list. But I just want to give you a general idea of what you can expect of these layers. And I firmly believe that whenever you're learning a new platform, you're not going to know all this stuff. But 
the more stuff that you're familiar with that you know is out there, then it gives you a resource and you can say, oh, I know I could kind of do something like that and then you know where to look or you might even know the word to search for to find find the answer. So at this media layer, you can see it's a lot of the audio video stuff. Almost everything here is focusing on audio, graphics, media, video. You've got your open open GL and open AL to do your 3D rendering here. Then we go down a little bit further, we're in the core services. Again, not a complete list of the frameworks. But you can see here that you still have some media elements here. You've got things like CF Network. This is one that if you're doing network stuff, you've got socket level ability to, to access the network here. There's not a lot of, uh, of protocol stack that's built up above the CF Network for you to utilize. So you might have to do some low level stuff here if you want to do HTTP requests and whatnot or, or find a library that will, will help you to do that. Uh, we have some things here that are in, like the headless address book and event kit. You have some things here, the foundation layer, which is a bunch of Objective-C wrap classes that are, are utility classes that are provided. And then moving on to the core OS, this there's not as many frameworks here. You have the Accelerate framework, which is basically big number and, and digital signal processing calculations. Probably, if you need to use that, you'll know what that is. Otherwise, you don't really have to worry about that. There's a layer that lets you communicate with external accessories. This is kind of interesting. I didn't realize that you could actually do this until I until I started doing iPhone development. But you can make an additional hardware device that connects through the iPod dock and you can actually communicate with that hardware. You have your basic security level here. It's all the way down here. Your cryptography, public key, private key type of things and, and handling certificates. And then low level operating system methods. This is where you get into the, the roots of Mac OS X, the, the Unix uh, BSD uh, type of, of, of stuff is at that layer.